and once again welcome back to my channel today i'm going to teach you regarding the systematry in a very easy and memorizable way this data interpretation or the interpretation of the graphs is very important for the national as well as the international exams so let's start first of all you have to recognize that what are the filling phase two phases there are two phases the filling phase and the voiding phase so first of all recognize what is the filling phase and what is the uh, uh, voiding phase in the graph so here you see that this is the filling phase such that there is no activity of the abdomen there is no activity of the duties muscle and there is no activity of the vesicle pressure this is the filling phase and the voiding phase this is the voiding phase when the reducer muscles they contract the sphincters they open and it let the urine to be voided okay and you notice here that uh, during the voiding phase the abdominal pressure it still remains uh, stable but what happens that this is the pressure reducer pressure and this pressure it remains stable during whole filling phase so that the reducer muscles they when they get active the sphincter open but during the filling phase it has to re be remain in the stable level and it does not contract during the filling phase but if do so that it means there is a abnormal over activity of the reducer muscle so here it this is the pressure of the vesicle pressure and this is the abdominal pressure even you see that when there is a rise of the vesicle pressure here and there is a rise or even there is a rise of the abdominal pressure here the duteasal muscle pressure it remains stable that these things happens that during the coughing or sneezing or carry something heavy that this lead to the increased pressure of the uh, abdomen and abdominal pressure lead to the increased pressure pressure on the vesicle or the bladder but the duteasal muscle will remain the stable throughout the time okay now let's see with an example let's move towards the next graph so this is the next graph this is our second graph and here you see that this is the this is the filling phase there is a fizzling phase this is the pressure abdomen and this is a pressure vesicle and this is the uh, pressure of the duteaser so you, you notice that this is the filling phase we uh, have discussed it closely that first of all you have to find out the filling phase versus the voiding phase so this is the voiding phase where the duteaser activity is positive and the voiding is there okay so here you notice that there is a leak there during the flow there is a leak there is a leak but here you notice and go down go down to the pressure of the duteaser here the uh, duteaser muscles they show the stability then why there is a leak it means that when the duteaser muscles they contract they lead to the open of the sphincter they lead to the open of the sphincter and which lead to the void but what happened here that there is a leak despite of the stability of the duteaser muscle and uh, this is because of the weakness of the sphincter muscle it means that the sphincter uh, muscle or uh, is very weak and it is not able to hold the urine inside it so this will be this will be equal to the stress incontinence that the sphincter is unable to take the burden of the stress okay now let's move towards our next graph okay here you see that let's uh, for our formula we have to first find out the filling phase versus boiling phase so this if you see that there is the some of the leakage of the here there is a, a filling of the uh, urine here there is a filling of the urine and uh, here there is a filling of the urine but this is some kind of the leak we can say that this is the leak but at the same time you see that the pressure abdomen it remains uh, stable and at the same time the duteaser muscle uh, show what happened that there is activity of duteaser muscle there is activity of duteaser muscle and here is activity of the duteaser muscle you see that that there is a leak and this leak means that it is because of the activity of the duteaser muscle and here the duteaser muscle uh, at the during the filling phase during the fizzling phase the duteaser muscle they should be very stable like this like this okay but here the duteaser muscle is showing the activity so we will say that this is the duteaser overactivity which lead to the multiple leaks 
okay i hope you understand um, the graphs and uh, i hope uh, you like it please subscribe to my channel take care till next video